Let us look at another example of time value of money to understand the concept of compound annual growth rate. You had annual earnings of Rs. 45,000 in 2011. By 2018, your annual earnings have grown to Rs. 67,550. What has been the compound annual rate of growth in your earnings? So this is an important concept called CAGR. A lot of times the companies quote their growth rate in terms of compound annual growth rate. So what does CAGR mean? So CAGR is the year over year growth rate over a specified period of time. So let's say you invest 100 rupees today. Now after one year at 10% interest, you basically get 10 rupees as the interest and that gets added to 100 rupees. So your total investment becomes 110 rupees. Now again, if you are growing this at 10%, then 10% 10 of 110 becomes 11. So 11 gets added to 110 and this becomes 121. Again, at 10%, your new investment amount becomes 133.1. So as you can see, this 10% is being calculated on the total amount, including the growth experienced in the previous year. So this 10% is the compound annual growth rate. So we had 10% on 100 and then we got 110. And then this 10% was not calculated on the original investment but calculated on the total at the end of the previous year. Similarly this 10% was calculated on the total at the end of the previous year and so on. So same way we want to find out that if today the earning is 45,000 and after seven years, the earning is 67,550. So this is seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then what is the compound annual growth rate. So I generally use the formula for compound interest to calculate the CAGR because basically that is also compounding. So A is equal to P into one plus I to the power N. So this is the final amount. This is the current amount. This is the rate of interest and this is the tenure or the number of compounding periods. So here we have to find out I, what is the growth rate. So A is 67550, P is 45,000 into bracket 1 plus I to the power N, N is 7. So or 1 plus I to the power 7 is equal to 67550 divided by 45000 or 1 plus i is equal to so the seventh root of 67550 divided by 45000 so let's find this out so 67550 divided by 45000 so this is equal to 1.501 and we want to take the seventh root. So 1.0597 or we can say 1.06. So we'll round this off. 
so or 1 plus i is equal to 1.6 1.06 or i is equal to 1.06 minus 1 this is equal to 0 0.06 so basically the rate of interest is equal to 6% so the earning has grown at a compound annual growth rate of 6%